Okay, in the second part of this video, we're going to look at how to make our drawing look like it's been hand drawn. So to do this, the first thing you have to do is you're going to have to turn off all the um, axes and uh, construction lines or tape measure lines. So to do that, you're just going to view and we turn off axes, which gets rid of axes, go to view and we turn off guides. Okay, so it leaves our screen nice and clear. The next thing you have to do then is open up the, the menu for color. So we go to the paint bucket tool and when we open this menu, it gives us some options. And what we're interested in in this, in this, this menu here is we're interested in the styles section. So go to styles and what we want from here is the next drop, the next box down, we want to go to mix. So this section here, click mix. And then we want to make sure that we have um, the one at the bottom, make sure we have sketchy edges selected. So what this allows us to do is allows us to do, combine different things for different parts of the model. So for example, um, if I wanted the background to be white, I would just find anyone on here that has a white background and I would just click and I would drag it into background settings. And then that makes the background white. So for example, if we pick something else that's different, let's say photo modeling, now let's say color sets. Uh, this one's got a blue background. So if I click that and go background, the background will be blue. So it takes elements of these things and puts them into our model. So, but for this exercise, we want to use sketchy edges. So I'm just gonna pick one uh, with a white background. Okay, like that. Now what we want is we want to do the face settings. So this is the, these are the faces. So again, sketchy edges, we want a white face. So you just click here and it'll give you a white face. So that turns it to white, um, like so. And again, to show that with, with something different, if I go to color sets, um, if I went to this one here, I went to face settings, I can see I get like a solid uh, gray color. And same with here, I can go for like a ready color like that. Um, but again, for this exercise today, we're only interested in using um, white. So I'm gonna sketch edges. I'm gonna go to face settings like that. Okay, now the edge settings are the lines that have been drawn. So to do that, all we do is we find one that is um, suitable. Now sometimes you, it does give you like limited view down here. So if you look towards the bottom, you can see wires, watercolor, um, twigs, tech pen. So tech pen might be interesting. So I click that and go to edge settings. And then you can see that all of a sudden it looks like we have hand drawn um, our design, which then from that you can quite simply just go into snipping tool and, or you can take a screenshot if you're on a Mac and snipping tool and we're just gonna snip out what we want. Okay, edit copy. And then you could just open up, for example, like a PowerPoint slide, blank presentation. And you can either build your page in here. So you can either build it in here um, or you can just put them in here and then you can send them to print and then cut them out um, and then stick them onto a page. Um, now, what's also nice about this is I can, I can put that there. If I wanted to um, do like a zoomed in view, I can, again, this is why SketchUp's nice. You can then alter the camera view. You can have a tilt. So if I like zoom into like an element here, let's say this. And then I can just use like this, this um, snipping tool to snip out what part I want to keep. So a new. So again, let's say, okay, I'm interested in just keeping like this part here as a zoomed in view. I can then go edit, copy, and I can go into paste and I can sort of show like zoomed in parts of my designs quite easily as well. Um, Another thing you can do in PowerPoint is you can turn down the contrast of things. So if you double click this and you go into um, 
I think it's color, maybe, or transparency. Yeah, that's it. You can turn it down and it can be like less transparent or more so it doesn't so it doesn't sort of detract from um the main drawing but also be mindful that you know you don't want to be overlaying images well that looks quite cool if you overlay it a little bit it's a little bit transparent um but just be mindful of being able to see boxes and things like that and then from there you can in here you can annotate um but if you are annotating in here what i would suggest you do would be to pick a a font so insert text box for example um text um let's doing that so don't you know don't use like the standard font have a look through them try and find one that looks like it's been handwritten um there is quite a nice one in here which i use quite frequently you've probably seen it in my powerpoints um, when i'm doing these sort of demonstrations um it's like a bit further down i think it's called ink or something um maybe use that one example um like so you know also have it as a, as a don't be too big you know make like a note on a page like that um, and then you can go to the draw tool uh, when well, that's not design is it or is it insert the shapes and on here you can use this tool curve to like give you a like a a little thing to show you where it would come from okay um, or you can put those in by hand so it's a, and you can actually create quite nice design pages um, in adobe in, in powerpoint um, for your final design not for your, final, for your uh, initial ideas pages it's quite a nice thing to do and then from there as well if you wanted to add like any any inspiration pictures you can drop these in as well um, so to sort of strengthen your design thinking